can see it's really good for like city driving for stop and go traffic oh, it was a little bit late on that so I'm gonna help it stop there set it back again as you can see it's doing good it's got a it's standing still at the red light now when it starts off and it goes for itself it kind of goes and then kind of backs off a little bit and then goes again i don't know why it does that but you'll see that in this like when it takes off it'll go oh that time it didn't do it go past this light then at the next one turn right that really well. Also, you can touch up here if you want your speed back. I kind of think it looks a little cleaner without it. But you do have the option to bring that back or get rid of it if you choose. Also, after this video, I'll give you guys another video showing you the settings that I use and kind of going through and giving you a brief explanation of some of the settings. Works really good. In two miles, take exit 200 onto I 465 <coughs> South and Indiana Route 37 South. Get over, not get over. 
Well, ah, I need to get over. See, changes lanes just fine, slows down, gives that gap. You can also adjust that Take gap if you want more then or less. Left to merge onto I you can make it more seven. or less aggressive. Use the left two lanes to keep left to merge onto I-465 South. As you can see, it can handle it faster. I don't know why it slows so much. Probably just a safety thing, but yeah, it can definitely handle a faster curve. And that's another good thing is you can go ahead and just press on the accelerator and give it more if you want and then as soon as you let go of the gas it's going to go ahead and continue to where you miles. set it to keep left onto i-465 south let's keep on doing this thing this is hands down the best branch i've used with the bolt steering gas brake all of it also when you brake, I don't know if you notice, but if you watch over here, you're going to see that when this slows down with the pedal interceptor, it's using 100% full regen all the way up to like 40 kilowatts, 40, 45 area. So you're getting full regen and you're not using your uh, friction brakes at all. So I really like that. Something Chevy should have done with the stock cruise control. I think stock cruise control maxes out at like 12 kilowatts and then after that it just uses the friction brakes for the rest. As you can see, almost no intervention is needed. It's a completely, completely chill drive. Only time I've had to intervene was I gave it a little bit of gas on that curve to go a little bit faster. Sometimes I'll, you'll see me, might, I might put my hand over here and like touch the wheel. That's usually if I'm seeing a pothole or if myself, I'm just a little bit like, oh. But for the most part, I never have any issues. It's more mainly me just kind of being a little nervous.
I just created this and I've been kind of adjusting and playing with the colors. So if there's something somebody would like, like if you want me to change the lane color paths, I'm very open to suggestions or anything you'd like on there. Uh, the little custom steering wheel up in the top corner right now I got on a little UFO. Uh, I can get I can add in different custom steering wheel items so like if you want to just put your own image up there or a steering wheel for your vehicle or whatever you want up in that corner I can add that into this as well fully took care of that so see if someone cuts you off like that the pedal will do it the pedal will take care of it it does see it and it will apply heavy regen i'll try to let you guys see that when i come up on somebody oh maybe not you guys can see that regen bar down there
This does so good on the interstate, pretty much. I tell you this, I take a nap on the interstate. And I would trust it to do the whole thing. By the way, I don't recommend you do that. enjoyed this um, like I said the next video I'll go ahead and give you guys some settings and things that I have done to this and some descriptions and just a little more in-depth detail of the actual branch itself um, I just wanted to give you guys a demo of it driving show you how well it does and how this thing is so on point now and it's taken full turns coming to full stops full stop and go I mean, you name it, it's doing it now. 
I would say this is 99.9% .9 perfection to me. So, anyways, I'm gonna hop off here in this video. I'm already at what 22 minutes almost. So, it's been a long one. Hope you guys have sat along with me through this up to this point. And I hope you enjoy this. And I will check you guys on the next video. Thanks. 9.1 miles. Take exit 19.